Evening all, and welcome back to Factory Town. So let's pick up where we left off and uh, carry on with building our regeneration system here so we can put in the earth shrines. Um, we do need another shrine here. We don't have enough for that. Let's put it up there. Let's see. Uh, we've got 26, so, and we need 40. Yeah, we're a while off yet. Um, but I think we've got everything plumbed in. Yes, yeah, we've got everything plumbed in and rigged up. So that's going to be okay. Um, I suppose we could just plug it in and see if it works. Do we do that? Let's just plug it in, shall we? Uh, you need mana crystals over. Just, just do four for a minute. I want to see it. Okay, pop, 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 pop. There we go. We're getting, we're getting some, and some pop up over here. Awesome. It's only given one resource, but it does become a resource, which means it will speed up the actual process that this can grab in. See, it's going up by 5% ago, which is awesome. So uh, that means we can just dump some more into here and get this going. So let's uh, let's just drop. Uh, how many should we drop in? Let's drop in 20. Let's do 20. So uh, do 8. That'll be 12. Will be 16 and then one more load will be 20 awesome okay and stop uh, we are pretty much getting the first one done a little bit to the second one that makes sense I suppose because the way it's going it's it's they're being depleted very quickly going off so yeah that, that that makes sense and it's only adding one stone per go to it so not really very quickly but it doesn't matter because it is regenerating stuff so that's fine um we are going to get a bit of a bottleneck here though because this is not going to process fast enough is it so we're gonna have to add more recharges here i think Means I need to change the layout of this somewhat. Um, let's see. I, I move the mana pipe out. Oh no, because we want the. I couldn't put a mana pipe directly out that way because they always favour going straight on and they wouldn't turn and hit that filter. So it needs to come down here. But we could do. Uh, that. that I think that would work grab whoop, uh, grab that and put that there facing that way grab that and put that there facing that way yep Did not be there okay then we can uh, grab oh you pressing G to grab, it's not G, it's M, M to move. Uh, there, there, and there, 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 there. Uh, um, need that one into, no, there we go, don't want to waste it all. And then if we grab a logic block, bitter, we can do that. Uh, we can put in a, th uh, yeah, put in a third one there, and there we go. Now we have three uh, rechargers recharging stuff back into here, which will give us a much better boost going on there. Um, what does it cost? It cost yellow coins. Hmm. I need to do something about that. We need more yellow coins. And yellow coins, the only source we're getting is sandwiches. We don't have any. Why is this? We don't have any sandwiches because we don't have any chicken because you have run out of fuel. Ah, run out of fuel. Yes. Drop that off in there. No, go away. Let's let's um let's uh ooh. I've done this a while ago. Just just add it to the main place rather than try and filter it out separately but yeah there we go so now the kitchen can cook chicken and uh 
we can get going there. Uh, our chicken still doesn't have enough animal feed to work though. I think I'm going to swap over these grabbers again. Have that as the priority, which is going to starve our milk a little bit. Milk is struggling because we've got two milk kitchens. Um, why are you struggling? Is it purely you can't... You can't output fast enough, can you? That's that's the problem. You're processing fast enough, but you're getting obviously two outputs are I do need to change this up. I do need to have I think one grain mill per um I, th I think yeah, I think this needs to be redesigned in some way. So let's let's have a look at this. Let's let's bring this all to a, a halt. And, uh, we'll um. We'll figure this out here because it does. It needs to be changed and moved and adjusted. You're level two, so I'm going to move you. I don't want to wanna. I'm thinking what we want to do is um I'll let that all filter out. Let's just get that down there. Um I've, and I've noticed as well my steam power has stopped working again. Um I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is, but all I have to do is uh, you'll see the numbers up there in the top corner are blank. If I just click once on any steam pipe, they all come back and start working again. Is really odd. Don't get why it does that, but it does. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this. Uh, oh, I need to resource. Yeah. So, um, we're going to move that one to there. Copy one to there. We can't can't move that one to there. Uh, we need more stone. Just just normal everyday stone. We need more of it. I'm going to turn off that grabber. Now it's going to be turned back on straight away. Um, can I turn off link them, haven't I? That was very foolish. Right, let's unlink them because I don't particularly want one to turn the other one on or off or whatever. But let's do that and then that way this, this barn will start filling up with stone and then I can build things because I need a bit of stone somewhere. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so if we then were to put a shoot in there, there, there and then turn these farms around to automatically output. Be awesome. We'll get rid of this here. Again. And uh, let's see. I that. There. Okay. So if I move this to there, move this one to there. And that can get access to two, that can get access to two, and these middle two here we could have feeding either one. So we, um I've really liked the idea of putting it all into a barn and having the barn going and feeding these. No, we'll, we'll we'll do it from there. That's fine. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. That'll be okay. Move that. This. Oops. You're a milk barn. You're fine. In grabber. Um, move that one. And uh, move that. Well, move that to there. 
because why not? Come on, come on, remove things. Come on. And uh, I'll still put it up in the air because you never do know when you might need something underneath to get around. We'll put in that, and that'll be fine. So, two. So one because it looks a little bit better. Okay. This is gonna have a grabber and this grabber is gonna be set to a chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Where are you chicken? There you are, raw chicken, awesome sauce, All right? And then we're gonna have another line. Um set to fertilizer and you're going to be set to fertilizer I think and you're going to be set to milk okay yep I think that's how I want to do it we then need to set these up again uh, just had one going to both and then oh, that, that'll do that'll do because then they're guaranteed to get water yeah they're guaranteed to get water that's fine and then we need to um we could put it on shoots but i will want to upgrade it to uh I've forgotten what I was just about to say then. We will want to upgrade it to something else. What do we want to upgrade it to? Magic conveyor belts. That's the one. That's what we want to upgrade it to at some point. So, yeah. Um, okay. Then we want to go into the Steam network. Like so, and remove those connectors. They're all good. And there. And then if we add the other two in there, if I unpause this. One there and one there, awesome. Right, and you're going to be on animal feed, and you're going to be on animal feed. Doki, and uh, if I can go and plant grain in those lots there, that uh, we ease up. All the way, I suppose. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the Earth Booster does for these. Does it increase crop? It doesn't actually tell me what it actually does. Uh, so I'm not going to add it yet. We'll have a look at some point. I'm not sure. So there we go. But these are going to back up already because the chicken pasture does not need that much food. So what I'm actually going to do here is I am going to move that that way. And then we're going to put a pusher there. And what the pusher will do is it will push onto this conveyor if there's space. If there isn't space, it will go the other direction. Which will slow down this one now I think about it. 
because these belts are not fast enough to deal with this. We do need to upgrade to mana. That's going to probably be our next protocol. Upgrading to mana. Yeah, uh, I am going to upgrade this pasture to a level 2 pasture as well. Because I can. So what I'm actually going to do here is if we were to do that we did that Try there oh oh and then I could do that would block off mm. no it's really not gonna work is it if we did that There's got to be a better way of doing this. Um, went like that. Went. That. Push in there. Really just that's overly complicated <laughs> um but that is essentially saying that you're going to output onto the belt if there's space on this belt then do it um if there isn't then go down there to this one and then you're going to be the same that sort of way around you're actually struggling for water which is an interesting concept um why are you struggling for water Especially when these are full and is it just that they're not outputting fast enough? Is that another issue we're going to get? Um, yeah, these aren't quite producing fast enough at the moment. Yeah, you are, you are actually struggling for water. That's very interesting. I do wonder whether that is just a um, an issue with the uh, grabbing and then placing on a conveyor belt because if you do it there with a the grabber and the grabber is like almost directly feeding into the pasture it, it works whereas if it's got a grab and then place on the conveyor belt afterwards I think it has to wait for that slot to be clear before that starts moving which is a delay so, that works um, and obviously this way is not not fast so it's prioritizing that one obviously this is put out that way and then the secondary is getting that one this does not require as much water as the cows do but that's fine you're getting all the animal feed you need you're getting the animal feed you need you are cranked up to the max you're the only one that's empty that's because you're feeding two lines Which makes sense. I do wonder whether I could switch to just being one line if I got rid of that. I think I think that works. I think that one can keep up with that. So yeah, so I think that that one is keeping up with that. We could do some fancy logic here. I, I, I could put in some logic saying if the pasture, this pasture has less than so much animal feed, this one will switch to this side, and if it's more, it will switch to that side. Um, but I think once we actually get magic conveyors, that's going to help because I could speed these up as well, and they can 
input and output fast enough. Uh, you're obviously going cheese mad. You're actually getting there. Wow, you're actually. Uh, you are running. You are full of chicken. You are full of flour. You are full of fuel. You are not full of bread because. Bread. Um, we don't have any bread storage. I really feel as if I should do that. I think I will. I think we will. I think we're gonna. We're gonna use a crate for bread storage. Now crates. I'll put it down without clicking the wrong button. Um, crates do not auto output, and also you can't use like a silo. You can't use the inventory. Anything that's in a crate isn't like a barn. It doesn't become part of your inventory up here, and they don't out auto output uh, like. Um, uh, do everything else does. Um, silos or barns or any buildings do. So, what I want to do, I want to have a wrapper going that way. Then I want to put in a block on top with a conveyor belt going that way and a grabber. I'm going to pause the game because grabbers will grab anything they can grab hold of. And I'm going to say bread. And what that should do is output into the crate, and the crate should also output into the uh, barn, but it's not, or is it? I don't know. It's coming out, but it's not going to, ah, oh, crates are not tall enough. I guess crates are only, uh, unless I need to rotate it around, does that matter? Nope. Nope. Nope, I guess crates are not tall enough. Okay, so in that case, I guess we want to move a crate to there. And do it this way. Grabber that way. So we'll filter that grabber to be a bread. It should grab it and put it into the crate. And then we'll put a grabber there. And then there you go. And uh, that grabber obviously isn't going to work because it needs to be facing that way. And that will output onto there and then that will take from the output and will fill up the input. Um, and it gives us a bit of a buffer. It gives us 20 storage buffer for bread. So yeah, we'll have 20 in there and 20 in the crates. So we've got a 40 storage buffer for bread. Uh, this is going to have a 10 chicken buffer. And everything will be awesome. It's just this obviously now uh, is waiting for cheese. My word. Why are you waiting for cheese? And I'm going to change that to be a splitter. Because I feel as if this is grabbing a lot of stuff and doesn't need all of it. It needs it, obviously, because it's making the things. But I think it's being greedy and topping up far too often. And this one could do with having more put into it. So it's always processing. It's always running. Because this is only one worker at the moment. When we increase our cow output, which... We're not getting any spare in there, so we are running at uh, the cow equal the milk equilibrium, where we are producing exactly the right amount of milk that we are. Well, actually, we're producing a bit more than we're using because these are actually filling up. So, but we have the capacity to increase our workflow here, so could actually do that. We could, we we really need to speed up production here um, by moving our. Our milk flow around faster, which would involve uh, obviously getting some mana conveyor belts. So I think that's going to be our next little protocol. We could drop those down. Six people, I think, was a good number for last time. That just runs at the right pace, if memory serves. I think this farm's going to be doing the most work because this is the one that's doing the most. Hmm. Yeah, I think 
this one's doing the most work. Obviously there's only one worker in each of these, they could be sped up, but we don't need to, having multiple ones is fine, so that, that's pretty much at equilibrium right now. Your output is down a little bit, so you are losing, all right. You are not losing, you are not losing, you are, you are losing, so you need to go up a little bit. Try and make sure that the numbers here go up and not down. 13, 14, 15, 13, 14, 15, 12, no, it's actually still going down. Okay, that's another one to go up. Um, but again, this is a bit weird. You get it all balanced here, and then when your people uh, increase their happiness, it should be overall happiness, but because it's a percentage boost from people, it doesn't quite balance that way. So, yeah. Now, we all need to balance here for the storage well, which I forgot about. In there. Grab. Um, we are going to grab chicken and place in that bottom. Because... Well, and we got milk. Oh, oh, we could use with the milk. But really, you went around that way. What up? Um, yeah, so you can empty the, the chicken barn out, and then I think you can empty the milk barn out. And uh, it's a good job we put all that above because you can get through underneath there to the milk. We are getting a milk surplus, but we are slightly above the milk equilibrium. Which is good. And you're now not getting enough milk to actually run enough. You're not getting enough cheese, so yeah, we need to move our milk around faster. So, to do that, we require magic conveyor belts. We have loads of metal ones, and uh, to get magic ones, we require a magic forge, and uh, you require steam pipes. Why do you not have steam pipes? What's happening here? Do you don't have any iron? Why do you not have any iron? What's... Oh! Oh! Oh, did I not fix that last episode? Did I? Where have my minecarts been? Wait, 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 wait. You're delivering mana crystals to that, but you can't accept mana crystals. I thought I stopped you. I thought I stopped. There were two of you, wasn't there? Yeah, so... Where have you been delivering the mana crystals to? Oh dear lord, where have you been delivering them to? What other barn is... Oh. You've been putting them in the base. You've been putting them in the base. Okay, right, okay. So, but we don't need this system anymore. We don't need, we don't need that. Um, we don't need that. Because we replaced it all. We replaced it to do something. That's why I didn't... I replaced it, but I didn't remove the old infrastructure. So we can get rid of these buildings here. Get this information here and that there. We don't need that. Which means we've got a cart on this internal track, which is set to mana. No longer needed. Um, can't think what you could be set to now, because... Yeah, so I'm going to remove you, I'm afraid. And we've got a cart along here as well, which is set to mana, or, or crates, which isn't going to do anything either, so you can be deleted. Simply not required. Okay. So, you have stopped. Oh, yes, because I've deleted that thing there. Uh, so, if I grab you and you and you... All three of you. I say, take it out of there and put it back in there, please. Then we can empty that silo down, and uh, then we can swap that back over to be an iron ore because I made a mistake with that an episode or a couple of episodes ago, and our irons come to a standstill, which means we're not getting any more mana pipes. Okay. Right, which means we're not getting any more uh, metal affairs either. But, as I was saying, mana, 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 mana conveyor belts requires metal conveyors, air crystals, fuel, and a bit of time. So we can upgrade all of our mana pipes. All of our mana pipes? No, all of our metal conveyors. To magic. You 
were grabbing. What are you doing? I'm not sure what you were doing. You were grabbing. Right there. I think you were set to grab the conveyor belt out of the base, weren't you? Yeah. Take the conveyor belt and put them in there. But you'll stop working because of reason. You were to grab all the. We have non conforming wagons. I think it is something to do with the distance for pathing. Yep, I think it's just it's too far for them to figure out where to go. Which is odd though, because it's not any different than it has been before. So Meh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, so right, we've built what we need to build. I mean I can turn this grab back on now so that we can get our own brick going. In. Which is fine, okay. And uh, I don't really want you to be working for taking the uh, metal conveyors out because we're going to be upgrading them soon and I want them back. So, what we're going to do is we're going to remove these potatoes, which I don't remember being there. Potatoes? Wait a minute, wait a minute. We don't have any potatoes anywhere, do we? Do we have any potato storage? Potatoes. Pick. We have none. We have no potatoes. Where did you come from? I do not remember you being there, or have they been there for episodes and episodes and I've missed it? Which isn't really a surprise, let's be honest. Uh, I'm not exactly the greatest of paying attention, so. Um, uh, let's hire some workers. And say, would you be so kind as to put potatoes into that? There, and we'll clear the potatoes from here and uh, we'll get a potato bomb which would be great um so uh you're up on that plateau there fine mm. i'm thinking i might move this barn here i might build an uneven terrain is that better there you are well done um and uh that. Put the grabber on it. So, so you'll be grabbing. Ooh. Uh, that should be okay. You won't grab the. Right. Yeah, there we go. So you're going to fill that one. And then we're going to grab another barn. Put it here. This barn is going to be for our mana of air belts. So let's sort that out now before I mess it up and get it all terribly wrong. Okay, and uh, you can get upgraded once at least. Um, and I don't know why I put it right there next to it because we need a mana forge in between, which is. Yeah, uh, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's fine. We can. We can move it. We can move it. We can move it to there, like so. And we can grab a mana forge. Uh, maybe I will <coughs> one day remember what I'm doing. Unlikely. But you never know. One day I might remember. I might actually figure out what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and how I'm doing it. And uh, then probably be very confused. Just be like, what? Why? Why am I doing it this way? So much better if I did it another way. Um, okay, so that's going through there. I believe we have a mana pipe here, mana line here, which is completely full because that grab has not been turned off. Why did our logic go wrong? Yes, yes, our logic went wrong because I have missed time that. If we have more than 200, it should be 100.
the half a barn. Yes, oh, sorry, I just bashed on my glass right there. Um, yes, it should be one. Okay, so that explains why that lights up. So, do I want to tap off of? Well, I can't because you can't feed the forges directly. No, you can't. You can't feed them directly. You have to bring them out into the world before doing that. So if I was to... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will. We'll grab a mana receiver. And I'll see. Can I put it under there? Cannot. Building is being blocked. Put it there. That would probably work. Now we put in that. And we go to the grid and we go grab this line here. Let's pause the game. And we say you're gonna take a detour. Which is gonna be if my brain thinks about it. Up to there, back down again across there okay and remove that there we go yep so, and that will work because then they'll cut around if this is blocked so we'll only have one dead weight here which is fine and you should not be why 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 are you getting more why where have i gone oh i've lost myself why why is this not drinking as false? Oh, because this hasn't... Mm. Uh, move a couple of there. Then as that comes out, this should trigger. It'll be false now. Not. What have I done wrong here? What have I done wrong here? Uh, you... Get onto the barn. You should talk to that one. You should not talk to that one. That's what I've got wrong. There we go. I was I linked the math block with the inventory sensor, not the inventory sensor to the math block. That matters. That's important. Okay. So if we're less than a hundred, then turn then then um then turn on. So once that gets half full, it will turn off. So now it should should be false which it is awesome so we're not completely empty this right um speaking of which we are you're clear i need to clear that one off the convert grabber there that's going to turn our iron back on again awesome right that's good you are going to go back to taking uh, taking mana into there you two are going to get deleted i'm afraid um yep okay and we have air crystals going on here and we need to transport air crystals over to there which is doable because we could We could quite easily set up a second one of these. There. Um, upgrade it all the way. Go on. Give me all the potatoes. Don't know what we're going to do with them, but we will do something with them at some point. But yeah. What we can do is we can grab a... Um, where are we? Where are we? We're there. With there, wow, it's a long way away. Okay, um, so we'll go over to here, well, boom, and there we go. And uh, we'll set this one up with a bit of logic because I don't want to be filling up everything. There, yes, it was awesome. Right, that there. I'm gonna put a grabber in, pause the game. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it to being uh, air crystals. I'm gonna turn it off. 
because although I can only grab air crystals from there just in case I don't know maybe uh, so we're gonna turn it off for that and we're gonna have a bit of logic going on over here because I don't want the pipe full with air crystals uh, if they're in pipes you it's you've got to manually go in and remove these I'd have to use the move tool to remove all these which uh, is annoying to be honest with you uh, but like this it's, it's okay it's all fine I don't know why I chose to have I don't need that one there at all not required in any way shape or form uh, so logic 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 we are going to need the same as we've got here an inventory center uh, oh. and a math block not a mana receiver a math block okay we're going to say inventory center is going to be on the mana forge and it's going to be set to air crystals yep you are going to be set to less than one if it's out of air crystals we're going to turn it on now the reason i'm doing it as less than one and not a high number is because this only has 20 storage and by the time one crystal gets over from there there's going to be about 40 in the pipe so yeah it's going to come on go off and come on go so we want inventory sensor to math block not the other way around then math block did not work because of the auto save math block to grabber okay okay so if i then grab a worker and say put one in there this one they work that loop that loop and you can you've done your job now and that one is going to come all the way along and that should be enough to trigger the system to start it all off A ship flying along. Zoom and zoom. Bom, he's going to go in there. That's going to trigger that to say come on. And uh, you'll see. Um, obviously, at the moment, it's. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm an idiot. Again. I've misread that. Uh, I, I saw the word fuel, and because it's a magic forge, my brain went, the fuel is magic. It's not. It's not. It's actual coal. Um, or lava, or magma, or whatever. Uh, which, eee, how the hell do I get coal over there? I mean, I've got... Hmm, that might be a drop for these wagons. I think that's going to be a drop for these wagons. Um... Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah. Uh... That was foolish. That was very foolish. That is not needed. This whole loop is not needed. Okay, so I can delete that building there and that one there. I'll move those there. And uh, I kind of want to move this now. And I'm going to. I'm going to move it over to there. Because I can. Can you move sensor blocks? No, you can't, apparently. Okay. Oh. I don't have to move them. I just want to get them closer to. And you are going to be linked to that. Of course, it's turned off because it's not doing anything. And yep, that was a complete waste of putting it in and then putting it, putting it out. But there we go. I'm fine with that. Okay. So we need fuel over here. So. Yes, pay attention. That's my problem. Not paying attention. Assuming stuff. And assuming stuff is really, really bad. So go and get... You'll do that, won't you? You'll go and grab the coal. Okay. And 
can see you getting blocked up there. And then this way, once you're in there, you can't get out of there. No way. I need to build. I need to build a bridge. Um, because I can see my carts getting stuck. Uh, not what we want. We don't want the carts getting stuck anywhere, really. Wooden bridge, wooden bridge, wooden bridge. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Okay, so now they've got a way to get over. Because over. if they come along here, You'll see here, um, he's going to take this route because it's faster for him. Um, but if they come this way and one's in here and the other one's coming down, they get, both get stuck here. Whereas now if they come this way and they get stuck, they've got two routes to take. And two routes is always better. So, it's going to be awesome for that. And it looks as if when they're on the way back, they go that way as well, which is, which is good. I like that. I'd prefer if they stuck to the actual path to a stone path that would be better could put a little river on here as well with the way down there I really feel as if I should do a way down there anyway so we're gonna do that they can go up and over and back down again if they need to Was for our iron plates okay so that's working and we're getting iron ore are we still get we're still getting iron ore in stones coming in everything's working so our mana forge is now producing magic conveyors awesome and of course as i said this this um it's now got 20 in there and because of the delay the pipe that doesn't actually have any in it okay so that's that's not too bad so it's outputting here and uh, there's not too many getting stuck in the pipe when it gets triggered on um, it does mean we are going to have every now and then a, uh, wow, that's 10 fuel. Wow. Um, yeah, we are going to have every now and then a delay whilst we're waiting for a new air crystals to come. But that's okay. That's that's fine. That's not a problem. Um, we do have, we have mana, mana conveyor belts, which is awesome. So let's grab some of those mana conveyors. I'm going to put them as number one, control one, nope, shift and one, shift and one, there we are, there we are, so, yeah. and, uh, where well, are we going to use it? Well, we're going to use it on our milk, I think, we need to output our milk faster, so it needs to be used here, this, this run here, first and foremost, so, boom, and then what we do is we go, da -da, da -da, and boom, and that obviously is a lot you can see it's just so much quicker mana conveyor belts are so much quicker but that would then put all those metal conveyor belts in our base and for some bizarre reason the wagons that were going from the base to there weren't working and i'd like to know why are you going to work for me you are this. What? What? Where did you go? Where? What are you doing? Really? Is that a quicker? No, no, surely not. I mean, maybe if I actually put finished building the road, I can understand that. But how much? How many bricks? We've got, we got a few bricks. We've got a few bricks. Let's um, let's uh, do some of these here. Uh, let's, yeah, let's just remove. Let's de this just caused massive deforestation all over the place. Because uh, 
we all know that that's brilliant for the planet. Absolutely fantastic. If, if, if everyone, everyone knows that you know cutting trees down is just that's how how you win. How you win. Um, and I am being sarcastic there, just in case you're not aware. You know, cutting trees down is. I know it's got to be done, but uh, the rate we cut trees down is a bit worrying. A bit worrying. A bit. I'm oh, cutting down a few a bit too quick. The rain is too steep. Is it? Put it there then instead. Why is it too steep? What's wrong? Is that one little corner piece wrong? Is that what you're complaining about? You are. And uh, we go to uh, go to there. I don't know why I built it to there. Might connect it to that bridge and have a loop. Have a big loop. Uh, so that's obviously going to give this cart and other carts a new way to travel if they need to. I don't think that's a very quick route, but <laughs> so long as it's emptying the base of. Um, the metal conveyors and putting them back here i'm fine with it i'm absolutely fine with it we are struggling however for iron iron is not getting down here fast enough and i think that's purely because it's not being collected fast enough yeah you are starting to struggle with producing iron so this may have to be our next uh We've got quite a few here at the moment, but this may have to be our next one. We'll see. We're doing pretty well here. We've got a hundred and so things going on here. This one square is going to be filled for. I really am tempted to just change this to only have the one and forget the other squares. Just remove them. Um, but I'm not going to. I, I, I'm, I'm in, in fact, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to put that one in there uh, because. It works at the moment. It's working. It's fine. When it comes to the iron, I will do that. I am going to only have the one, I think, in one there, I think. Because that covers, yeah. Put in one there, and then we'll fill in the back row with iron. We'll just have one deposit around the back that we're concentrating on refilling. So we can have, well, I can't really have this come out. I'm going to have its own recharger system to do it. Um, and the coal we're good for. The coal we are doing really well on. Mainly because I'm not using coal in every place that I could be using. I'm using it all over here, but obviously I'm using trees in other places, so. Uh, the potatoes are going well. Good. This is good. This is good. There we are. Here we are. We've, we've obviously got a delay now because we've got no air crystals. And uh, this has been turned on, and so there's our first air crystal just arrived. Just is in. Is just there. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. So, bomb. There we go. So, you've now gone into there. Oh, no. So you've now got, there you go. You saw that trigger. So, we've got one in here. This is triggered, stopping this going on here. But the pipe has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, blah, 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 blah. blah. Like, you can see, like 20, 30, 30 in there. So it's going to fill the whole place up, mana forge up, and probably leave some in the pipes, I reckon. <clears throat> let's see, let's just have a look see here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. There's the 20. Uh, no, not quite leaving any in the pipe. Um, so yeah, so we're getting four, eight, about an eight overflow. So, um, so yeah, 30, because obviously it's using some of it's going. So when this triggers, it will, before it, when it turns on, because there's nothing in the mana forge, by the time it turns off again, we have 30 in the pipe on its way down. And that's only set to one. So if I set that to the 20, we'd have 50 in the pipe before it turns off. So yeah, dealing with the layers is an entry on there. Do that self. The only issue we have is uh, the coal. We're not getting enough coal by the looks of it. Or it's just not being quick enough. Do you know how I could speed it up anymore?
Uh, in fact, you know what? I do know a way we can speed it up, and I'm going to use a foot pass. Do it. I'm going to have a path go down there, down to there, off there. Oh, it's not a priority track, but it will mean that the carts will travel slightly faster from it. Did not intend for it to do that. Not at all. I don't want that actually. No, 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 no. Remove. Don't add remove. Um, yeah. What I, want, I want you to go down there. Go the other side, like. There we go. There we go. Ooh. That better? Yep, that looks better. Okay, okay. You went back the other way, that's fine. Not sure why, but you did. You're fine. You want to do? Not really going to argue with you that much. And then, and then. Uh, so, right. So you pick up Carl, you come along here, you end up on this path here, which is it's not as fast as a concrete path, but it's slightly faster. And then you can go up and over there, down there, and come back that way. And that's going to keep flowing. Fuel is a problem there. But we have another 30 cafe belts. How is our farm? Our, our milk, milk is capped by the looks of it. Yep, you are completely full. And you are completely full. You can go up to five people now. Off you go. Which uh, we have 20. We have everything going on there. We're getting extra stuff going there. Awesome. Right. Okay. So, and you're done. So, let's grab the milk, shall we? Milk in the barn? Yeah. You, you can go. Okay. Yeah. Um, I did also see this. So, you're out of cotton? Why are you not producing the cotton? Yeah. I think we need what a shirt shirt's selling for a record. We we could stop our shirt production. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. We we are doing really well for red coins with the fish oil. I'm gonna stop our shirt production. We'll produce that. So our last shirt we're gonna produce. We're gonna knock that on the head and uh, bring our shirt production to a close. Because we we the red coins are getting a bit out of control. Yellow are what we need. So yeah, there we go. Bring that to a complete close, which means I need to figure out which wagons have got which going on and what cart. And I don't even know what's going on anymore with these carts. Um, I need to relay that internal track. But um, let's. I'm going to bring this episode to a close here. So we have magic conveyor belts, which are a damn sight faster and a damn sight better for everything. So. Happy, happy days. Now, hopefully, our cheese will increase. It means our, our, um, bread, our bread, our sandwich production will increase, which will increase, stop it, stop it, uh, increase our gold coins, uh, uh, yellow coins. Let's spend some yellow coins and then we'll bring this up to a close. So I'm going to search because we need the fire temple. It's the only one we don't have yet, is the fire temple. So let's, uh, That one there, no fire temple. Nope. We'll grab that one there. That's mostly water anyway. I'm just going to square off the area that I've got. Uh, this obviously is the the edge of the map is right there. I don't think I can purchase any more. Once I purchase that one, I can't go out any further. I think that is the actual limits to the map. So it's got to be in here somewhere. Nope. Who's glowing? Are you? No fire temple on there. Are you? Nope, no fire temple there. And uh, and that's that's it. We broke now. So okay. So I'm not being the. We haven't got the fire temple, have we? Uh, uh, is it somewhere and I missed it? We got the air temple. That one's there. No temple. Over here, the remember, there's a water one here. And the only other one was the Earth Temple, which was 
on down the water below. Yeah, which is there. But no, we haven't unlocked, we haven't discovered the fire temple yet. Unless it is somewhere and I've completely missed it. Um, but please do let me know if I have. I don't think I have, I can't see it. But uh, if not, it's going to be in the outside. So we're going to have to purchase, we're going to have to get more yellow coins, which uh, we'll do. We'll do. Our red coins are fine because our fish oil is. Where we're we living off fish oil. Fish oil is a very easy way to get you red coins. That's blue coins. Where were we getting all the red coins from? Was it just from the shirts? Did I have... We've got plenty of red coins. I'm fine with that. Don't worry about it. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, we will be back and doing more mana stuff very soon. So, yes. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this one. Hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.